what what's up y'all today we're reviewing the muddy pro sticks If you like this video, be sure to subscribe below and go check out our other stick review on the Hawk Razor Max. These muddy sticks are 20 inches in each segment. They weigh 10 pounds in a stack of four. We only have three here today. Don't ask me where the last one is, but they're rated to 300 pounds. So if you've been eating a little bit before deer season, you might need to go work out. First off, we're gonna start with the bad. This is a creaky table. So one of the first things that I noticed as being a negative in these sticks right here, starts with the foot pegs. Um, they're clanky and unstable at times. So I think that there's a reason that, th that they're designed this way and I'll show you real quick. These brackets, I had trouble when I went to put these together, the brackets are meant to like move with the tree, I believe. And so they're supposed to be a touch loose. We'll do a close up on this, but there's like actually ga a gap in between the stick and the bracket where it would hold it together. So when you're trying to, trying to like sure these up, it kind of just leaves the whole step system a little bit loose and not every one of these is that way i mean these like these they have some mud in them too which helps but uh <laughs> <They're muddy. laughs> exactly but uh one of these sticks i've got and it may be the one that we're missing it gets it's so loose that it'll just pretty much flop down and you can hear it go really loud so that's the first thing i noticed as being a negative with these along with that on the steps. A lot of times it's dark when you're going up these things. You may or may not notice that your foot happens to this thing on the way up and they will guarantee close on you, which is not good when you're trying to go down because uh, you really want to live through the descent of your tree stick. So when this is closed, you no longer have a step. Be aware of that. And basically is if you hit it with one side, both sides are closed and so mm -hmm. you don't have nothing to grab onto. Uh, another thing that we've kind of had issues with on these sticks, and it's kind of a catch 22, the ropes are really nice, but they're pretty lightweight. On a bigger tree, say if you go to a place where there's larger oak trees or something, Sometimes they're really hard to get all the way around the tree and get reattached into this cam lock system. Uh, they just don't have enough mass to make it all the way around the tree, especially if you have some type of cedar brush or whatever kind of grabbing the thing on the back side. For sure, and as you can see, I'm about six foot, so I would assume that this is about a six foot rope right here. So if it's like a sizable oak tree or something of the sort, or a cottonwood, which a lot of people in the West might be uh, used to, you're gonna be pretty much out of luck as far, as far as getting this around. And we actually made a little system that we tried. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler thought this thing up real good. Yeah. Uh, and it would work in theory, yeah. but. I, I think it would work in certain situations too, but in the one that we needed it for most last year, yeah. it was a no-go. Well, it was a kind of funny thing where we were really in a hurry trying to get some stance on because there was a big bucket like 90 <laughs> yards uh, and it didn't work. But yeah. th I think there is a world where you can put an extension on these and make it work. Funny thing about this one, is the inner rope and in this nylon rope has actually descended mm -hmm. into the rope and this little four inch piece here is floppy. <laughs> I wouldn't put that in the cam lock if I was you. It's yeah. kind of dangerous. Yeah, you definitely have to be careful when you're putting this in the cam lock for sure. But uh, in the meantime, let's cut to big buck footage right now. So not to get too far off subject, but back to real quick, these brackets uh, and how they're meant to twist and turn and mold with the tree. As you can see, this one is just flat out loose, right? So that is quite loud. Uh, and you, you're like, oh, well, you're not gonna do that in the woods. You might actually have a buck come running in. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> can take two of these and put them together. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Like I said, if you put you know 200 plus pounds on it or whatever, it's gonna be it's gonna be loud whenever it slips, right? And so when you go to shear these in on a tree, when you pull them through the cam and try to and try to pull down on them and like get them just to where they're gonna stick, that's another thing I notice is that they don't stick very well. Uh, I think there's a little bit of elasticity in this rope mm -hmm. that allows it to continue to ride up as opposed to like the straps that you have on your hawk or whatever. Yeah. And so like it'll continue to ride up. So every time you get back on it and step on it, it's gonna push down. And if this thing has to seat in correctly, it might make a big loud noise. And I didn't actually experience that several times last yeah. year. And uh, not to harp too much on the death that could happen, but uh, you definitely could have a fall because this thing goes tuk, 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 tuk. Yeah. right. This well, not, wouldn't be good. Uh, kind of to revisit what we talked about with the foot pegs earlier, 
We were talking about how stiff some of these are and how we have one that clanks, which I guess is in the woods somewhere we don't know where. This right here can be a problem if it's muddy where you're at and you're trying to climb up the tree. If you get too much stuff in this gearing system right here, you might not be able to fully open these sticks all the way. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also some world where you could get a pretty good pinch in there. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. And uh, there's some pretty vital parts of your anatomy that, that tend to spend a lot of time close to the sticks. <laughs> to the so, <laughs> <laughs> be careful my friends. Yeah. Uh, the last thing is kind of nitpicky and something we could probably address ourselves is that this is a big black thing in the tree, especially straight up and down. I know black is better than maybe white or something like that, but it's one big solid color that the deer may or may not be used to, especially when you're doing a hanging hunt, you're putting new things in the woods. And a simple fix for that could be some type of camouflage tape or something just to break up the outline mm -hmm. there. So another small thing on these sticks is that all, I'll bet they do work well. They do make a good ladder up the tree. If you look, the plane at which this step sits is the same as what a tree's bark would be. A lot of times when you're hunting, you're gonna have some pretty good sized boots on and you don't have a whole lot of toe room to actually put your foot on. And it kind of becomes problematic, especially on a bigger tree that's gonna be more of a flat look right here behind this peg. A smaller tree, not so much. You still have kind of some room, just some space out here to fit. My other set of sticks, which are these Hawk Razor Max, if you look, they actually protrude out from the tree at like a 30 degree angle. You can kind of see right there. That gives you a lot more room to actually place your foot on the peg, which means more stability, which means really an easier time getting up the tree. Now on to the good. The first thing that I have really fallen in love with about these sticks is that this rope and cam system is just like so easy. I mean, if you find the right tree, which there's a plenty of them out there that'll fit this, fit this system, it's literally just throw it around the tree and slide it through there. And really, technically, it, you're probably good, uh, but don't, you know, obviously don't take my <laughs> advice for that. 100%. There's some kind of knot. It's like a mountaineering knot or something. Like Casey Pretty much two, two loops through. I can do it on a tree. I'm yeah. not really going to show you right now, but it's a, it's, yeah, it's a really easy knot and it's such a quick system. I mean, getting up and down a tree with the, the muddy pro sticks is like, you're flying. Ah, oh, what's up y'all? Along with the ropes, uh, there's no buckles or anything. I mean, you can hear as I throw this on the table, it doesn't really make a ton of noise. If there was a brass buckle on here, it'd be huge clanks, and then you got that to deal with clanking against this metal. This doesn't make any racket hardly at all. It's a great stick for those tight, enclosed, maybe you're hunting buck beds or a, a feeding area where you're hanging you know, early in the morning and the deer are close. You can get up in the tree about your silently Throwing that thing around the tree, putting it in the cam lock, and then locking it in, and you haven't made a single peep. Yeah, I actually had several hunts last year where I literally walked right into bedding and got up a tree, you know, 16, 18 feet, whatever I could do with extra branches and stuff, and put my stand up and sat down and watched deer get out of their bed at 40 yards. So, mm -hmm. I mean, they're definitely super, super quiet if, you, if you're looking to hunt bedding or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And another nice thing about them when he's talking about 14, 16 feet is they're pretty long. They're, I think, 20 inches is mm -hmm. what we said earlier. And if you're feeling kind of acrobatic or athletic in the mornings um, and you don't have too much weight on your back, you can set these things, you know, about chest high on the tree that gets you a good four foot right off the ground and yep. then you add the, the total length which if they're 20 inches and you put them 20 inches apart that's going to give you 160 inches which comes out to somewhere roughly 13 and a half feet so you're looking at being 17 18 feet up in a tree which is plenty high enough for most places for sure another thing i like about these sticks is that uh, pretty quickly and easily they nest really well so as you can see, KC's doing it right now. There's a, there's a little divot on the back side of the stick on the top and the bottom, and it just kind of goes through there and then comes around into the cam system. These are the ones that you're gonna be putting on the bottom essentially. And so this, see this big nut right here that fits inside of the hole on the back side of the stick. So once you get that in, there's you normally put, four of these. Normally there's four of them. So you put another one on top of that and then the fourth one or the top one, whichever in this case it happens to be the third one, goes on and nests in there. And then you go underneath and just wrap it around several times and you come through the cam lock system and it will be uh, pretty rock solid if you put it in there really tight. So it's a, it's a really quick system to, to mess with. And like Casey said earlier, without a buckle, uh, this whole thing is really pretty quiet 
So they nest well together, they stick pretty good, which for me, if I'm carrying these in a long ways on public, like when it gets loose, it's just not fun. So uh, good to have a good tight set of sticks, but you can actually hear that, that that's it's part the of- the loose one right there, the it's the rattly guy. Rattling you know, step that I was talking about earlier in the bad section, so obviously- It's an imperfect system, yes. but it's a good system. The quietness of the, the takedown is probably just as important as putting up, because honestly, something that we've done in the past is we've made the mistake of once the hunt is over, we forget that we still need to be stealthy because hey, there's probably still deer in the immediate area. They just might not be coming by us. Just because we're leaving doesn't mean the deer is leaving. So being able to set these things, you know, take these things down quietly and get out of the woods without making too much of a disturbance is super cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like we said earlier, normally there is one, two, three, four sticks in this pack. We have three, number four's in the woods somewhere. We'll find it before next season whatever it'll be fine one of the cool things about having four sticks as opposed to some of the longer three stick versions is that with these four sticks they're much more adaptable around crooked or limmy trees limmy a word limmy is a limmy word. it's a limmy it's a tree yeah. yeah so if you have trees that have more limbs or they're crooked you can use these four sticks that are smaller to really work your way up the tree oh my goodness <laughs> i'm so terrible Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, make sure and subscribe and like, hit the bell for notifications. Go to the comments section actually and tell us what sticks you're using because we got these muddies and we've got these hawks, but we're always up for suggestions and would like to know really what's working best for you. Yep, remember, this is your element. Living it!